Hi. Welcome to Dane. Welcome to Calculus Topics with Dane Ray. I'm Dane Ray. Inventor, investor, prize winning journalist, scholar, and math genius. Today we're going to be learning about integrals. Let's go. In this portion of the video, we will be discussing indefinite integrals. We'll start off with some basic indefinite integrals. The first integral we'll look at is x to the is to the power of x. Is it integral to the power of x? The general rule when integrating a power of x is we add 1 to the exponent and then divide by the new exponent. Hopefully it's clear here in the formula we need to avoid uh, negative 1 because dividing by negative 1 you'd end up with a division by 0. Now let's take a peek at trig functions and their integrals. These are basic rules for integrating trigonometry functions. These rules simply require memorization in many cases, as the concepts are very advanced. Now let's take a glance at exponential and logarithmic functions. e to the x is the most basic integral, as it simply integrates to x plus c, to e, e to the x plus c. a to the x times dx integrates to x over ln of a plus c. And finally, 1 over x times dx is equal to x to the negative first dx, which is also equal to ln of the absolute value of x plus c. In this, in this portion of the video, we will be discussing definite integrals. To calculate definite integrals, you will be using the fundamental theorem of calculus. Lowercase Lowercase. To calculate definite integrals, you will use the fundamental theorem of calculus. Lowercase f of x is a continuous function on a to b, and uppercase f of x is the antiderivative of lowercase f of x. This is an example of the fundamental theorem in action x squared plus 1 dx from 0 to 2. Both of these are antiderivatives of the integral. Using the fundamental theorem as pictured here shows the answer or the solution to the definite integral to be 14 thirds. I have now shown you the basic concepts of both definite and indefinite integrals. I hope you learned from this video. Thanks a lot.